those people we were speaking to, he said, they are above all people on the face of the earth, right? But like we said before, like that God said before, he introduced this, he introduced this passage by saying, you are a holy people unto himself, right? So all the different, how are we holy to God? How, how is it that we can be holy to God? It's more, it's, go back to, remember we just read it to you, Romans 7, go back. I'm going to show you, that's right, what the brother just said, because it's more, that's why I said it's more than a movement. Right? This is the book of 1 John, chapter 4 and verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world because a lot of people they teaching a lot of different things right they teach a, a, a lot of wickedness a lot of foolishness right come on hereby know ye the spirit of god every spirit that confesseth that jesus christ is come in the flesh is of god so if somebody yes that's true if somebody does not believe that christ has come died risen they don't believe in Christ. They don't, but they are wicked. Now jump, jump down to where, jump down same book where it says, um, but it's, it's more, it's, it's, it's more, it's more to it than just that. It's more to it than just, than just borrowing. Listen, listen, listen to the scriptures, brother. All right. Uh, come on, you got it. Yeah. This is the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. So the scripture said, even before the coming of, even before the New Testament, the scripture spoke about Christ's coming, right? So he that believeth on me, as the scripture said, he that believeth on Christ, as the scripture said, come on. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Those living, those living waters is doctrine of understanding, understanding of the law. So it's more, it's more. Christ said, right, that's, that's right. So even you, brother, even you, it's one thing to, uh, for somebody to not believe Christ came and he died on the cross. It's another thing to know about Christ and not do what he said do, right? Give me John 17, 14, 14, 17, I'm sorry. It's the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So Christ says, if you, if you, if just like, do you love Christ? Right. Yes, Lord. I see you, you wearing the, 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 the cross on your neck and all that stuff. So Christ said, Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Now, what are the commandments of Christ? No, sir. No, sir. It's 600 and something commandments. Sell everything. Sell everything. But what you're talking about, what you're talking about, right. And love that, love the Lord thy God with all thy might and all thy heart. And love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. Right? He didn't give him, he didn't give him six in the book. Just, I'm going to show you. I'm going to enlighten you. Matter of fact, go to, go to Leviticus 19. Go to Leviticus 1917. I'm going to show you what actually took place when the young man came, or when Christ was addressing the greatest, the two greatest commandments. All my life, right. Sell all that you have and give it to the poor. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So he's addressing hatred, right? He said, thou shalt not, right? Just like one, so one of the things he told that young man was, 
thou shalt not hate thy neighbor, I mean, or love thy neighbor as you love yourself, right? Right? So, the law, this, we're in the Torah, this is the book of Leviticus, right? We're in the law. It says, thou shalt not hate thy neighbor, right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. When he says, thou shalt not hate thy neighbor, he's going to give you a solution. This is what you should do. Instead of hate, you do this. It says, instead of hate your neighbor, rebuke him. You know what rebuke means? Yeah. Correct him. Correct him. Right? Now let's see what that rebuke or that correction is regarded as. And not suffer sin upon him. So what's the opposite of hatred? Love. So what is love? Go to John, 2 John 6. Go to 2 John 6. It's, it's more than that. So, because how do you act that? How do you act love is God or God is love? How do you act? How do you how do you deal with me like love is God is love? How do you show you how do you teach your children God is love? How do you show them that? Giving? No. Because I'm gonna tell you how. I'm gonna tell you how. I'm not an alcoholic, right? I'm not an alcoholic, right? Now let's say one of my brothers need uh, food and the other one needs because he spends all his money on alcohol and drugs, right? So what should I do? I should give my money to both of them? Because one of them need food, one of them need, has a habit, an addiction, right? Who should I give my money to? Who should I give to? Exactly. What if I could afford to give both of them something? Who should I give it to? Exactly. So giving God is love is not just giving stuff to people. <laughs> it's more than that, brother. It's, it's, it's more than that. It's the co Come on, I'm going to show you. I'm going to help you out, bro. This is the book of 2 John, chapter, verse 6. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. So in the, in the law, when God, when God told us, Thou shalt not hate thy neighbor in thy heart. But thou shalt in any wise rebuke him. That's the love. That's the love. You understand? The opposite of hate is what? Love. So how should we love our brothers? How should we love our neighbor as we love ourselves? No, that's not what the Bible just said, though. That's not what the Bible, and that is showing love. You got to cut off. We got to cut. We, we watch a lot of TV, bro. And you know what happens on TV? And, and reading, too. You know what happens when you read? If it ain't this Bible, because you don't see hugging and kissing and tenderness in this book. You don't see that. You see rebuke, you see correction. You see you see brothers was in sin and the most high destroyed all of them. Put them to death. That's what you see in that book. You don't see all the hug where? 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 Uh huh. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? I, and that's what I'm trying to do, bro. So we're going to read this again, and hopefully you learn. I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to teach you. Come on. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. Because guess what? Our people don't need a hug, bro. Look around. Our people don't need no hug. You know what our people need? Correction. Correction. Brother, you lay with that sister, you marry that sister. You understand that? Brother, put that gun down. Brother, put them drugs down. That's right. That's we don't need no hugs, brother. You understand that? Yeah. That's not going to help us. That's not godly. You understand? Yeah. God put people to death. He sent the prophets before he come to put you to death. You understand? Yeah. So we come to warn our people. That's what we come to do, and that's it. We're not coming to hug nobody, speak softly, speak nicely. Do we come to show our communities, our people, what they need? The real love God is referring to. That's what we come to do.
for years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more It's how I'm man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.